Hey everyone, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a cute and simple beaded mushroom design. For this design, you're only going to need an 8mm bead and either 18 gauge wire or 20 gauge wire if you feel like the 18 gauge would be a bit too hard to work with. Um, the hammer and the anvil is optional. If you're working with plated wire, I do not recommend using it as it'll damage your wire. But if you're using copper or silver or a filled wire, like gold filled or silver filled, then you can use your hammer with this design. So to get started, I'm using about a seven inch piece of 18 gauge or one millimeter wire. And I am just going to start by shaping it into a round shape. This will be the top of our mushroom. And whenever you're doing this, you can kind of check with your bead to see if you're getting to be the right size or if it's gonna be too big. Mine's a bit too big, so I'm just gonna keep gently squeezing the wire to give it a nice rounded mushroom. And that looks good. So at this point, you can either take a Sharpie marker or you can just eyeball it to see where we need to bend the wires next. So with our chain nose pliers, I'm gonna start on the right side of the wire and gently curve it in. check to make sure that the bead will fit. That looks good. And then I'm also just going to make a small curve on the, up on the opposite side. Notice how I'm not bending the wire all the way back. That's because I'm going to be using my hammer on this part right here and I don't want to hammer this wire and put a mark in it. So at this point, if you're using your hammer, let's go ahead and grab that and we'll flip our design over and I'm going to start on the top part here. And just to make sure that I don't accidentally hit this wire, I'm going to gently just fold it away. So if you want to add a bit of texture to the mushroom, since it is a bit of a rustic design, we can go ahead and hammer on the front side after we get everything to the thickness that we like it. I'm just going to even that part out. I can see that the wire thickness isn't quite the same. And now I'm just going to add some texture using the other end of my hammer. Okay, so at this point, we're going to be shaping the stem. So we'll be working with this left wire here. And we're just going to bend it in and then work the wire out away from the design. Okay, while we're doing this, we can always go back and check with our bead to make sure that the design is still going to be the right size and that everything will be centered. So I think that's looking good. So at this point, just choose however long that you want the stem of the mushroom to be. And then we'll make another angle there. All right, pinch with your chain nose pliers and then just pull the wire back. Okay. 
and we'll repeat that one more time on the other side to finish the stem of the mushroom. Pinch and then pull the wire in. I want that to be a little smaller. There we go. And once again, if you're using your hammer, you can go ahead and use your hammer to hammer this stem if you want to. There we go. So at this point, this is the wire that our bead is going to go on. So, I'm going to bend it a little towards the center and pop my bead on. And this wire, I'm simply going to wrap it around to lock the design in place. Okay, and you can use your pliers to gently pinch the wire close. And then what I like to do because we kind of have a negative space here, I like to use this extra wire to wrap around the bead. It holds the bead in place and it also fills in some of that negative space in the design. And I am just going to wrap this wire around this one Right here, we have another optional hammering point if you want to hammer the wire that we'll be using for the bell. If not, just skip that step and uh, move on to the part where we make the chain loop. your pliers or your fingers to gently bend this wire and hook it around that top wire. And we'll snip that off as close as we can. And then pinch it in with your pliers. Okay, and the last step make our little bell so you can shape it first with your fingers if you want and then I like to just gently grab and then pull back like that Yeah, you don't want to pinch too hard with your round nose pliers on the front part of the wire because these can very easily leave a dent in it. And it's not the end of the world, but I just don't like the way it looks. All right, and to finish it, I'm going to bend it up like that and then just clip it off right here. Make sure to pinch that in so that the chain won't slip off. All right, 
give everything a little squeeze, make sure it's lined up and how you like it. And that is it. I'll be oxidizing this one because I really like the antique finish on it. Also, if you have some beads, you can add some small little beads around the design to give it a cute little spotted mushroom look. You can make earrings with them. This is really cute and it goes well with so many different stones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's mushroom season here in France. So I feel like this was just perfect for this season. And I hope you guys make your own cute little mushroom. Have a lovely day, everyone.